Bay era, Montego Bay era, surrounded on the hill. Okay. You don't know that Montego Bay is on the, on the, um, the, at this height until when you look back and look at the surrounding. The younger flat era we have is the ocean front. You know? Mm -hmm. Because right now when we get out of town and you look back here, it's a tall mountain here. Well, as I, that's how I tell you now, and you can see for yourself. The island is 150 square miles and 60 across. Today we're going to ride across back to the 60, right across back to the ocean. This bus goes to Kingston, non-stop. Oh, right, because they have restroom and everything there. How long of a drive is that to Kingston? Gonna stop to pick up some more liquid. When you go to Negra, uh -huh. seven mile long beach, the best beach on the Caribbean. White sand, and you can go like out to the truck before you go down. Wow. Best water sport. So see, we come through the mountain and we on the next side. from Montego Bay, we call it Anchovy. If you guys notice in Jamaica, some of the homes <coughs> depends on how people have them on here, build a home, you know? You may look at a home and say, oh, build a home, the greatest, this is their money, you know? So they will drop it off. But big home now build again. Nobody building no big home again. It's a small little place to you put your head, you know? That's what happened now, you know? Job dealer used to be big home in Jamaica. <laughs> but job dealer get messed up now, you know? Yeah. Church, 220 years old, over there. Where some of these slaves used to be like, used yeah. that place. It's destroyed when it's 110. The roof blow right out. One time it catch a fire, but it's still surviving. Wow. The government try to keep it real, you know? Yeah. Oh, beef jerky. Look at this. <laughs> slaughter time now. You're gonna slaughter that animal. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Black River Cruise. Yeah. Oh, here comes the gator. Struck it out of the It should be nice to know say hi to this He would like to. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> 
When I lift the leg up, I pick the head up, I even give them a kiss sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're present. Uh, good morning to you all. Good morning. Welcome to the St. Elizabeth Safari. Welcome on board Tour the Running. My name is Faith. And this morning, I'm going to be your captain, your tour guide, a friend of yours, and also your crocodile dungeon. Okay? <laughs> this morning, we'll be going approximately two and a half miles upstream and back. Where I'm hoping to show you guys various vegetation, some of the beautiful birds, and if we're lucky, we'll find some more crocodiles. Okay? Along this river, we have over 500 crocodiles living in the wetland area here, but it's only a few of them that actually have a territory along the river. Sometimes during tours, you see one or two, sometimes they haven't seen any at all, but they times you see like 10, sometimes up to 30. I'm hoping as we go along, we'll still see some more, right? To my left at the back here, those are the channels. That they use and go out into the Caribbean Sea to catch fish. And the river and the sea meets just a little bit on the bridge, on you know, the bottom there. That's where the river meets the sea. The white birds along the trees are now to my right. They're all known as egrets. In Jamaica here, we say Kali. Here we have the castle, the snowy, and also the great eagle. But as you can see along the trees there now, that it's a main roosting and nesting area for these birds. And what the crocodiles like to do, they like to hang out along the roots of the trees, that whenever the birds come on the lower limbs to drink water, they will swoop on and have them. And if any of the young ones follows up the nest into the water, the crocs will swoop on and have them as well. So right along the trees where we are here now, it's like a KFC small <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> with me, the crocodiles here, it's just like having a dog at home. What's <laughs> <laughs> with the bird? <laughs> yeah. What is it here for? Go, 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 go. Try that one at home, all right? <laughs> the tall trees along the river here, these are all known as the mangrove trees. Along this river, we have two species of mangroves we have the red and the white. To my 
left, that's the Nassau Mountain, that's where you find the YS Fall, that's the waterfalls. Straight ahead of us in the middle, that's the Cockpit Mountain, that's where you find the Hong Kong Town, that's a Maroon Town. That's where you also find Appleton Estate, that's a rum factory. While to my right on the bottom here now, that's the Santa Cruz Mountain. And in the Santa Cruz Mountain is where you find our two colleges and our girl high school. We have Monroe Boys College, Bethlehem Teachers College, and Hampton, that's the all girl high school. In the Santa Cruz Mountains, where you also find Lover's Leap. A Lover's Leap is in cliff that is a little over 1,700 feet in depth, or just over 600 meters, okay? What you're seeing here now is the Redmond Groves making an arch across the river. You see, back in the olden days, our poor parents normally stripped the bark of these trees, boiled it, and getting a rich red colored dye from it, that's the straw dye. That's what they normally use to paint the wooden floor with the wax. Then they get in dry coconut, cut it, made a brush out of it to give it a nice sheen. Along the roots of the Monroe trees, it's a natural nursery. It's a breathing ground for fish and crabs. And here we have three species of crabs. We have those that live below the surface of the water. Those are the marine crabs. We have the ones that live just above the roots level. Those are the land crabs. And we have some tiny ones that live in the trees. Those are the Monroe tree crabs. See, mm -hmm. oftentimes coming through Montrose Avenue here, you might find a crab or two fall out of the trees into the boat. So you guys got a little close to falling crab, right? That's a full boat. No kidding. Proud of boat. It's got the size of that head. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> it's bigger. You won't kiss that one, eh? <laughs> yeah, I do. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't try it. We, we won't you. Come on. Ooh, lazy, man. He doesn't want to play with me. No, he doesn't want to play with me. Don't touch. Don't touch the ball. I know you were going to do that. Don't worry. She's going to come back on top in a minute or so. There she is. She just circled. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She just circled around. I'm not good to eat. No worries. Go, 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 go. Come on. Go, 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 go. If you like this video, don't forget to check out part two, YS Falls, or part three, the Appleton Run Factory. I think you'll really like it. And don't forget to click subscribe or give us a thumbs up. Thanks.